Episode 3, Engineer Time. I was fairly excited for this run because Engineer is my favorite class and he started the No Guns Challenge for me. Uh, also, he was the first class that I used com to complete Heroes Plus 6 difficulty. Anyway, time for the rules again. I cannot fire guns, the only exception will be non-damaging alt fires like the Barrier and Sonar Shot. I can only deal damage with my secondary attack, main ability, head bonking, and any other upgrades I get. And I have to beat the final boss on Heroes Plus 2 difficulty. I started the run and chose Smooth Cannon for my first upgrade. This allowed me to fire my Scrap Blaster more frequently and it attacked faster. This entire run was fairly easy, since my drones dealt nice damage and my Scrap Blaster recharged quickly, dealt good damage, and it was explosive. This allowed me to deal constant damage. Also, because the Scrap Blaster dropped scrap whenever I hit enemies, I could heal my drones whenever I needed to, which made it easier than the first challenge run where they would always drop like flies. In the first challenge room, I grabbed popcorn, just in case I got the ability to mark enemies. I started using the Scrap Blaster to Blast Jump because extra mobility is always nice. I leveled up and chose Geared Buddies, and I chose the Scanner, so my drones could mark enemies. Unfortunately, the burn from popcorn didn't take effect, but marking enemies is still good because it increases damage. I made it to the first safe room and grabbed an ugly tie, then I went through the ruins. The rest of the stage was pretty easy. I mostly used these encounters to get better at scrap blaster jumping and trying to get better at multi kills. I leveled up again and chose hard gear to give my drones an extra weapon. I decided to choose the rocket because I like explosions. I finished the stage with an S rank in 2 minutes and 24 seconds. In the ruined safe room, I decided not to buy anything even though there were some good options, and I just took power cells from the free chest. Shield generators were pretty annoying because I didn't do too much damage to them, and my drones didn't focus on them. Once it was down, everything else was pretty simple. The arena was pretty easy since enemies were grouped together, meaning I could easily get a 6 plus scrap with one blast, which allowed me to keep my drones alive. I went through the next encounters pretty easily before going to the challenge room. The only thing to get were the power cells. I leveled up and chose targeting protocol so my drones can focus down shield generators and any bosses I came across and all I had to do was shoot an enemy with my scrap blaster. In the safe room I got a soccer shoot. I then went through the door to go through the rest of the stage. Targeting protocol didn't do too much for the arena but it would come in handy later. Also the arena was just like the last one. Against the next shield generator, the targeting protocol helped out quite a bit. I went to the free perk point and chose Unleashed Buddies, so my drones got bonus attack speed when I hit an enemy with my Scrap Blaster. I went to the boss room, which had nothing I could use. I finally got a different boss this time. Billy Boom was easy enough, since he's a big target who just kind of walks around. Also, my drones were kind of melting his HP bar. Once he died, I leveled up and chose Special Trick for extra Scrap Blaster damage. I completed the stage with an S rank and in 5 minutes and 29 seconds. I made it to the fields and checked the starting room. With nothing but some power cells, I went through the door. This stage had some fairly easy encounters. My drone damage after Scrap Blaster hit was pretty great. I completed the challenge room and got some power cells before heading to the safe room. The big guy guarding the door was pretty easy to take out because I could focus more on my movement and not focus too much on killing him because my drones did most of the work.
I leveled up and chose Scrap Snacks, so my drones got more attack speed after I healed them. In the safe room, I bought a super sandwich from the shop, and I got some power cells from the free chest. Then I went out the door. The arena was coming up, and I was pretty confident with my damage and survivability. The arena was pretty easy. Just like the ruins, grouped up enemies were good for Scrap, and since healing my drones gave them extra attack speed, I meant I would need to heal them as often as possible for maximum damage. I was taking quite a bit of damage, but I made it through. There's one last big guy and it's time and it's the same story as last time. I leveled up again and chose Scrap Collector, so my Scrap Blaster dropped one more scrap on hit. I cleared the rest of the enemies and finished with an S rank and at 3 minutes and 44 seconds. In the Energy Center safe room, I grabbed a rake from the free chest and went through the door. Even though some enemies had personal shields, the explosion from the Scrap Blaster allowed me to aim for the enemy, but kill the shield, which was nice. In the challenge room, I got a non-magic ring from the chest. I went to the first arena and it went pretty well. The extra scrap was really nice for spamming drone heal for scrap snacks, which meant more damage. And just like that the arena was finished. I made it to the safe room and bought a rice cooker and a boom box from the shop. Then I left the room and fought the first enemies. I leveled up and chose Black Powder, so my explosion damage and radius was increased, which helped out my Scrap Blaster quite a bit. The next arena was also completed very quickly. I made it through the next encounters with fairly low health, but I made it through in the end. With nothing important in the boss safe room, it was time to fight. Judge Ball was a good boss since he's easy to hit. The main problem were the shield generators, but they were also free scrap. With the boss dead, I leveled up and chose Family Swarm, because more drones is cool. I completed the stage with an S rank and a 4 minutes and 15 seconds. I made it to Haven City, and just like the last run, there was another legendary item to taunt me. I got a lemon from the free chest and bought a viking helmet and teddy thermos from the shop. I went through the door and quickly encountered the first big guy. It was basically melted. Three drones with high attack speed and good damage with target lock, then targets were easy to take out. With another big guy down, I leveled up and chose Smooth Cannon again for more Scrap Blaster attack speed. This meant more Scrap and just more damage. Anyway, I went to take out the last two big guys before checking the safe rooms, which got me a spare head, clean socks, and a bug net. I leveled up again and grabbed Eco Buddies, so Fallen Drones dropped Scrap and Healing Cells. I finished the stage with an S rank in a 4 minutes and 31 seconds. At the final level safe room, I bought a dice, then went through the door. This level has fairly cramped rooms, which meant I would get a lot of scrap for every shot of my scrap blaster. I was taking quite a bit of damage when fighting this big guy, but after running around spamming my scrap blaster, I killed everything. I was pretty worried about my health at this part, so I played more carefully, especially when a fire enemy was nearby. And after some careful play, I leveled up and chose Oiled Cannon, so my drones fired faster. I went to the first challenge room and got a power cell. The next encounters went better than the first. The next challenge room gave me the same results as the last one. I went to the final safe room and got ready for the boss battle. Beetle Royale was the boss. It was a little difficult because when he was moving I couldn't hit him with a scrap blaster easily. Once he stood still I could get some nice damage on him. The amount of scrap on the ground was ridiculous sometimes, which meant more scraps next.
Beetle Royale was killed so fast he was only able to destroy two platforms. The stage was completed with an S rank and a 4 minutes and 17 seconds. And the full run was completed with an S rank and a 24 minutes and 43 seconds. This was a nice way to redo the engineer challenge run, because I could fully utilize the engineer's kit, so I had more upgrade options, and the options I always had were just better. The next run will be for recon, but I have a special challenge I want to do after the recon video. I might stream it because it's something that might get me back to streaming because I, I need to stream again. Anyway, I'll see you next time.